So, sleepy teenagers. That's the question for today from Sarah, mom of a teenager. Do teenagers really need more sleep than anyone else? Dr. Lindsay Browning is a sleep expert. So, the reason that we all think teenagers need so much more sleep than everyone else is because they're so hard to wake up in the morning. And if you've got a teenager at the weekend, they could probably sleep until midday quite easily. But it's not the case that they need more sleep. Actually, teenagers need generally between 8 to 10 hours. And once they hit 18, then it's up to the sort of 7 to 9 hours that we recommended for adults. But yeah, teenagers need 8 to 10 hours. But the thing is, the reason that we all think they uh, need all this extra sleep is because their circadian rhythm, their internal sort of 24-hour clock, tends to move forwards when they hit teenage years. So teenagers don't want to go to bed at seven, eight, nine o'clock anymore. They want to start going to bed much later and later. And this is their body like naturally wanting them to go to bed later. But the trouble is if you're not going to bed and to sleep until 11, 12, one in the morning, but you still have to get up for school, that means that teenagers become really sleep deprived during the week. They're really, really hard to wake up in the morning. And at the weekend, they sleep for loads of time. So as parents, if we think, you know, we close the doors to them, we go to bed, we think they've gone to bed at half nine but actually they were up until one in the morning then we struggle to wake them up in the morning we can think gosh they slept for loads but often it's because they're staying up really really late and not getting as much sleep as they as they need that's extraordinary so why are their circadian rhythms telling them to do that it's a great question so what we think is that back in the day back into caveman days that um teenagers probably they started to go to bed much later than the rest of the adults to sort of carve out some time just for them. So if you imagine a group of teenagers, they want to find out who they are. And once all the adults have gone to bed, they would stay up for an hour or two to kind of just socialise, have that time without the grown-ups, meaning that they needed to sleep in later in the morning, which is fine when you're cavemen, but not fine when you have to get up at seven, half seven to go to school. And that's where these problems arise. Yeah, if it's if it's a physicality, if it's if it's an actual thing, then wouldn't it make sense for teenagers to just do things later? Couldn't we, I don't know, reorganise the day a bit? Yeah, that's a great point. And actually, in America, there's a big movement towards starting school later for high schoolers, and that's sort of like GCSE A level age. So they want um, to make school times start a bit later to make of sense because if teenagers are going to bed so much later they may need to sleep in a bit later in the morning so why start school extra early why not let them start school at nine instead of half past seven which some of the the sort of high schools did used to start in america really really early no oh, yikes i can't imagine what i would have been like starting school at half past seven in the morning i'm glad we're not doing that so that that switch sort of comes on around sort of i don't know puberty and then yeah. ends when we get to about 18 no, no, no. Um, it, it sort of tails off in our early 20s. So oh, generally right. speaking, it starts, yeah, starts sort of when puberty happens um, and then definitely teenage years. But then when you're at you know, early, your early 20s or late teens, your university age, then we've still got a bit of that want to go to bed late, stay, you know, get up late, still in, in our essence. But by the time we've hit 25, we've generally gone back to what we perceive as the normal nine to five sort of grown up um, timescales of going to bed at 10, half 10, uh, waking up at sort of seven and, and being comfortable with that. But yeah, this, this teenager is wanting to go to bed later and wake up later it just means that as parents, we think, oh my goodness, they're just being so lazy or, or whatever, but it's not, it's a real timing issue. And the trouble is schools have to start when they start. So we, mm. we really have to encourage our, our teenagers, I've got two myself, uh, to go to bed earlier even though their their natural body is saying no 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 i don't want to go to bed until one in the morning but they need to go to bed early so that they can get enough sleep that eight to ten hours to be able to function well and do well at school is there anything we can do to help them to help them get to sleep earlier Definitely. So light, lots of bright light exposure as soon as they wake up. And if you do have a teenage boy, for some reason they lose the ability to open their curtains in the morning. I don't know what happens. But if we can encourage our teenagers to open their curtains, like first thing in the morning, maybe, um, you know, try and walk to school rather than going in the car, getting lots of bright sunshine exposure first thing in the morning really helps to shift their circadian rhythm, to help them fall asleep a bit earlier and wake up feeling a bit more refreshed in the morning. And as much as it's tempting to allow teenagers to sleep in at the weekends, because they really want to, if we let them sleep in a lot, it's kind of like 
allowing them to have that sort of jet lag um, timing in their sleep. So actually getting up at a fairly regular time at the weekend, the same consistent with your Monday to Friday, will also help their sleep a lot, even though it might be um, a difficult thing as parents to get them to do that. Thank you very much indeed uh, for the sage words of wisdom and advice from Dr. Lindsay Browning, sleep expert. Great question. Brilliant answer. Thank you very much indeed for both.